Well, time for another amazing cave colonization episode. Also, when the hell did it start raining? I swear when I loaded the world like two seconds ago, it was not raining. Welcome back to Cave Colonization episode 52. We are over here today, a little bit away from the square, but I'm gonna bring the path this way, I think. I did clear out this area a little bit, and I also expanded this furnace on this side, so I did remember to do some things. So we are only going to be building one thing today. Let me just get my, not my pants. We don't need pants here. Right, so, I guess the first thing, the elephant in the room, I suppose we should talk about is last episode. So that's probably going to be one of, if not the longest episode. I think it really depends on how much I actually put in the third floor. Also, something that was annoying me last episode was that I, I say uh a lot. Um, like I literally just did and that sentence with that. But I'm going to be trying to not say it as much because I'm not sure if you've noticed in these episodes, I don't really say it a lot. And that's because I cut most of it out because it bothers me and I don't like it. So I'm going to be attempting to make a conscious effort to not say it. So that's gonna be fun. For me actually before i go off and start placing blocks all willy-nilly i should pull up my screenshots specifically this one which you can't see so i don't know why i said specifically that one but i'm hoping like the more i avoid saying uh the less i say it like moving forward without having to consciously say it i keep having to like stop my sentences to avoid me saying it or like i would usually say it i like literally right when i ended that sentence i was about to say it but i uh, this is, I literally just did say it, but this is an entire window, so I should fix that. But anyway, yeah, that's just, it's just something I want to say. It is going to be making my sentences a little bit shorter or like putting more gaps in between them as I struggle to avoid saying it. So really, it doesn't even matter that I'm not saying it because there's just going to be all these awkward pauses anyway that I have to cut out. So is there a point to doing this? I don't know. Maybe it might be a little bit rough in the beginning. This building, we're only going to be building one building today because, yeah, I built this last night and uh, yeah. And I wanted to make up for the lack of building in episode 50, even though it was kind of like a special episode with uh, a lot of building. And that. What was that? Did somebody just die over there or is that just smoke? That's probably just a smoke. Like a Doc Benson over there, just chilling. Yeah, like I was saying, I did want to kind of make up for the not building in episode 50 with a lot of building in episode 51. And if you watched the episode, then first of all, why would you put yourself through that? Second of all, yeah, that was, it was definitely an episode. Yes, it was, it was an episode. That is for sure. Wow, really? I didn't put any windows on here? What, what was I doing? I mean, yeah, windows in this cave don't really matter. That guy's got a nice view. Most of the windows in these buildings just tend to look directly into a wall, which... But I planned for that this time, which is why there's no windows on the back or this side. Although there could be some on this side, I guess. But anyway, I'm saying anyway like I was saying something, but pff, honestly, we're recording in the morning again, so I'm not gonna remember if I was saying something or not. But, you know, it's... It's whatever. I say but a lot as well, but I think that's fine. <laughs> but <laughs> that is some really, some really low tier humor for me. Do I pick up my shulker boxes? No, it's still down there. Okay, that is kind of stupid. Eh, whatever. I guess I'll talk a little bit about this build. I don't know if I said anything. I think I was starting to say something about it, and then I probably cut myself off because I'm a dumbass, but wow, that was a perfect amount of birch wood. Too bad I'm gonna take some out for the staircase. But yeah, this building has a funny name, as I'm sure you've seen from the title. Although, hmm, yeah, I think I'm gonna hold off on the funny name bit. I mean, no, I'm not, but like, I, I think I'm gonna put the roof in first before I like continue talking. So I will probably do that right this second. All right, I believe that is the roof done. And this time I actually put some light sources down so it wouldn't be so dark. So. Let's do some interioring. Um, oh, I forgot to mine the floor. Brilliant. Let me just do that really, really quickly, or about as quick as I can. Okay, and it's floor time. Right, so as I was saying before I did the roof, 
This building has a funny name. It's kind of going to be the third floor's general store, but not really. If you remember the general store from the second floor, I think that just rhymed. But anyway, if you remember that building, it just had a bunch of random stuff in it. And this one is going to be no different. I should probably put the staircase in. Yeah, I know I have, I've been saying um, a fair amount of times. I think it's been less than usual. It's, it is going to take a little bit of work for me to like seriously cut down on how many times I say it. I'm just gonna like put these last two birch stairs here because they're meant to be there. And let me just put down these glass panes. I didn't put the ceiling in, but that's fine. Let's just do this bottom area first. All right, so once again, we have a full inventory. So this is just going to be, wow, that was a fail and a half. This is just going to be the shelf, the shelves, I guess I should say. That's where the goods are gonna be placed, you know? So over in this corner, we have a corner bush because, you know, we just do. I always say because there. I should really stop saying because. We just have a corner bush, okay? This is this is a cave colonization episode. We have a corner bush, it's that simple. All right, so starting here, let's see if I can remember the order, but we have a white glazed terracotta. We have an item frame with a spyglass in it. We have an amethyst cluster. Hmm, I think these are the flower pots that have, this one has a fern and this one has a crimson root. Then in this corner, we have a bell. Right here, we have a wither skeleton skull. Here we have an end rod. So I think this is the first end block I've used. So good thing I went to the end two episodes ago or else we wouldn't be able to place this end rod here. That's brilliant. And then here we have four magenta candles. I didn't forget to bring a flint and steel, it's just that they're not lit. Once again, they are taking business from the candle store. Man, what's his name? Claude? Poor guy, he's not getting any business now. Right, I believe that's everything for the bottom floor, so if we do head upstairs now and finish this ceiling off, because I did not. Okay, there we go. Over here, we're gonna have a corner bush, because... Dude, I just did it! I literally just did it again. I said, here we have a corner bush, because as if there is not going to be a corner bush or I need a reason to put a corner bush down. I mean, honestly, DB, what the hell are you doing? But we have some bookshelves and an item frame and book and quill. Let's rotate that. And right next to it in this corner is a flower pot with an allium in it. I don't know why I said it like that, but it's fine. And then there's a lantern here and here, I believe. So then if we get our wood out, not like that, you weirdo. We can put his room in. And this is the room where the guy lives. Well, one of the guys, I guess, because there is two people. Why do I have a single oak plank? That's the second time I've had a single oak plank, so I guess now I have two. Brilliant. So over here, similar to how the tavern was, we just have an another little corner bush, just hiding out back here. Place in the wrong spot, up there. Great, now it's up there. <gasps> Got it, let's go. So in this room is the bedroom. So we have a bed, of course. You need a bed in a bedroom, a chest, another corner bush. And hmm, let's see if I can remember the carpet goes. I think it's light blue first, like that. Let me just check really quickly. I am right, that's wild. And then painting that one. Okay, I believe that's everything for the interior. Oh wait, I forgot this, there's a door. So that's the interior and these guys are just selling all sorts of wild stuff. I did try to get another Wither Skull Skeleton. Wither Skeleton Skull, but I just wasn't having it. I had I had no luck. I was the failure of obtaining. Right, so this one lantern goes right above this door. So here we have these slabs arch up like that, and the lantern goes here. Pretty sure that's everything now, so we can do some exterior decoration. And it's gonna be fairly simple, I think. I hope anyway. I didn't memorize it, once again, because I'm dumb. I, I mean, I know generally it is just kind of all over the place, but I'm fairly sure what I have just done there is correct. And we're gonna use fence gates, so I know Mr. Shark will be happy that I'm using fence gates finally. Right. So that's the front bottom. The sign goes here, but we'll do that last. So let's head up on top of the ridge. And we have more leaves. There's, there's a lot of exterior leaves on this building. And it, this decoration is it's fairly standard. It's basically just spruce trap doors around all the windows and then fences everywhere else. Now the cool thing about having this ridge is I can actually just run around here and do this side. So let's just do that. So there's no window here. So in the absence of a window, we just imagine there's a window i guess and then there's just fences along here like i said it is pretty simple and we can even just go up here and then there's just fence here fence here more acacia leaves like that and this is like exactly the same on the other side the only difference is below there but we'll get to that okay round back again a fairly simple again there's no windows it's just there's just more trapdoors. 
and fake windows. And this one is exactly the same as the one underneath. So I suppose we can just drop down now and just do this one as well. Oh, this one's actually slightly different because it's three high. I forgot about that. It doesn't really matter though, because yeah, it's just an extra fence on top and then some fence gates over the top like this. And then more trap doors in the exact same formation. And that's the back done. Over here, apparently I missed a block of cobblestone. Probably the most unique side, honestly, besides the front, but it is just very similar to the front anyway. Okay, I don't even know why I bothered to call it unique. It is really not unique at all because it has the same bushes, the same trap doors absolutely everywhere. I think I may have miscounted the amount of trap doors I would need. Actually, I don't think I did, but that's what this side looks like. So then the last side to do is over here, and I can just get up there over there. I'm going to need to mine out a little bit more on this side just to give this building a little bit more breathing room. Let me just put a torch down so we can get some light up in here. I have my brightness up higher than last episode because I was in a nether and I couldn't see anything so I had to turn it up. So once again, basically the same. So I don't know why I really just said once again. It's it's just this. Ta-da, that's all it is. Like that, boom. And then the final side, exactly the same as with the other, one, so other side, just like that. And that's all the exterior decoration done. So the last thing to do is put down the sign with its name on. And the building, as you can see from the title, is called Glottal and Crocker. I don't know why it's called this. Uh, it's Glottal and Crocker knickknacks. And it has some weird design with this. And the year, it was 1736. So it's only two years after, I believe, the Sage's Smithing, but not the carpenter shop. And then we bought some dye and some glow so it stands out. And boom, this is the Glottal and Crocker knickknacks shop. And what a building it is. I think the excuse for this one for being nine years later, or sorry, eight years later, is that the building, it was there when all three of these were, oh, I forgot to name this completely, oops. Lol. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'll do that later. Yeah, this building, it wasn't constructed in 1743. That's just when Casper moved in. So originally there was something else. Who cares what it was? It's it's not necessary. But they were all built, say, 1735. Because that would make the most sense, it being a square and all. And this came a year after. So that's, that's going to be the end of this build. This build, yeah, it is the end of this build. But that is also going to be the end of this episode. So this one will probably be much shorter than last one. Probably around 10 minutes, the usual episode length. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.